the day we're taking a look at these NHL matches, which are happening on Wednesday, March 1, 2023, and giving you our team and total picks for today. Welcome back to High Stakes. Before we dive into our video, don't forget to subscribe and push that notification bell to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and make sure to watch it till the end, so you don't miss any of our picks. Also check out our Patreon if you want access our premium picks. Our Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. You will find the link in description and comment section below. One more thing before we start, check out our new channel High Stakes Props and Parlays, where you can find our player props and parlay picks predictions. You will find the link in the description and comment section below. Rangers vs Philadelphia Flyers. Currently sitting third in the Metropolitan Division, eight points ahead of the fourth place New York Islanders and with three games in hand, the Rangers might be feeling quite comfortable about their chances of making the upcoming postseason. The Flyers, on the other hand, are nowhere near the playoff race, which quite clearly reflects in their performances as well, as the team has dropped seven of its past eight contests, winning just three times in its most recent 14 matchups. The very last five defeats of Philadelphia have all been by a margin of at least two tallies, with the team being outscored 28-8. Four of the previous five victories of the Blue Shirts, meanwhile, have all posted a goal gap of at least two markers, as have six of the past eight triumphs of New York against the Flyers. Our team pick is New York Rangers minus 1.5 goals. With all of the offensive talent on display in this one and the excitement around the Rangers' lethal top nine, this one may not be close, but will feature two teams with a penchant for scoring plenty of goals. For the Rangers, the over is 8-3 in their past 11 games, and for Philadelphia, the over is 6-1 in their past 7 games, so while the Rangers feature one of the best goaltenders in the league, this will be an important game for them, and they'll be out to score plenty. Our team pick is over 6 goals. Toronto Maple Leafs vs Edmonton Oilers. Both of these teams have been fantastic in recent years, at least during the regular season, so it's very surprising that the Maple Leafs have a great record against Edmonton, and after starting their road trip with a win in Seattle, they'll look to keep building. In the past 28 head-to-head -head matchups between these teams the Maple Leafs have a 22-6 record and are winless in the past four games against the Oilers on their home ice, so while both teams have their offensive units flying, it's the Leafs that have proven to be the more well-rounded unit. Our team pick is Toronto. While the Leafs certainly possess great goaltending this season, it's their offensive unit full of incredible superstar talent that will carry them, and at this point, it's becoming very tough to adequately describe the incredible output of the Oilers' captain and Leon Draisaitl. For the Maple Leafs, the over is 40-19-3 in their past 62 games on the road, and for the Oilers, with a struggling goaltender in net, the over is 33-15-4 in their past 52 games overall, so while this one is shaping up to be a brutal slugfest, there should be plenty of scoring chances. Keep it simple, take the over 6.5 goals. Arizona Coyotes vs Dallas Stars. The Coyotes are looking to pull off the upset, but the Stars are having a great season, and I see them controlling this game from the first period. The Stars, who average 3.20 goals per game, should find the back of the net at will with Jason Robertson, Rupe Hintz, and the rest of the forward unit, establishing a strong offensive zone presence and creating open shots with quick puck movement. The Stars, who allow only 2.60 goals per game, should limit the Coyotes' offense, which averages only 2.66 goals per game, with Issa Lindell, Miro Heiskanen, and the rest of the defensive unit, creating turnovers in the defensive zone and limiting shots on the net, allowing goaltender Jake Ettinger to make plenty of big saves. The Stars should win the game and cover the spread in a dominant win on their home ice. Our team pick is Stars minus 1.5 goals. The Coyotes have been poor on offense this season. They rank 28th in goals per game and last in shots per game. Arizona scored three or fewer goals in seven out of their last 10 games. Goaltending has been excellent for the Stars this season. They rank third in goals against per game. These two teams faced each other twice this season. Arizona scored two goals in the first meeting, and they got shut out by Dallas in the second meeting. Scott Wedgwood started the first meeting versus the Coyotes, and he stopped 28 out of 30 shots faced. Jake Ettinger started the second meeting, and he recorded the shutout against Arizona, stopping all 33 shots faced. With Arizona on the back end of a back-to-back, -back, they will struggle to do anything offensively. 
This will be a lower scoring game, and the under will hit. Take the under 6 goals. New Jersey Devils vs Colorado Avalanche Both teams have been playing very well lately. New Jersey has won 4 of their last 5 games, while Colorado has won 6 straight games. These two teams faced each other once this season. The matchup was back in October in New Jersey, and the Devils won the game 1-0. New Jersey has been a better road team than the home team this season. The Devils have an 18-11-2 home record, but a 21-4-3 road record this season. Both teams have a very good offense, and both teams have received very good goaltending this season. Defense is a big edge for the Devils over the Avs. Colorado ranks 22nd in shots against per game, while New Jersey ranks 4th in shots against per game. Colorado's winning streak will come to an end in this contest. With a lot of success playing on the road, the Devils will win this matchup. Take New Jersey on the money line. Both teams have been very good at keeping the puck out of the net. Goaltending has been good for the Avalanche. The Avs rank 7th in goals against per game. The defense and goaltending have both been very good for New Jersey. They rank 5th in goals against per game and 4th in shots against per game. Vitek Vanasek has a 2.37 GAA and 0.913 SV%. The under is 5-3-2 in the last 10 meetings between these two teams. In the only meeting between the two teams this season, the under hit. This will be a lower scoring game, and the under will hit. Take the under, 6 goals. Washington Capitals vs Anaheim Ducks The Ducks are looking to extend their recent winning streak and can easily win this game on their home ice. The problem is that the Capitals are looking to make a push for the playoffs and control this game from the first period. The Capitals, who average 3.02 goals per game, should pile on the goals with Alexander Ovechkin, Dylan Strom, and the rest of the forward unit, establishing a strong offensive zone presence and creating open shots with quick puck movement. The Capitals, who allow only 2.98 goals per game, should limit the Ducks' offense, which averages only 2.51 goals per game, with Nick Jensen, Trevor Van Riemsdyk, and the rest of the defensive unit, creating turnovers in the defensive zone and limiting shots on the net, allowing goaltender Darcy Kuemper to make plenty of big saves. The Capitals should win the game with a strong performance on the road. Take the Capitals' money line as road favorites. I don't expect much scoring in this game, which lines up nicely to the under. The Capitals have trended under this season, with the under in their games going 32-25-5 this season. Their offense has struggled, scoring the 12th fewest goals in the NHL, but they've been very good defensively. They've allowed just the 14th fewest goals in the NHL. They should be able to easily shut down the Ducks' offense that has scored only the second fewest goals in the NHL and has generated the fewest expected goals and the fewest high danger shots in the league. Take the under here and don't expect much scoring. Carolina Hurricanes vs Vegas Golden Knights While Vegas is getting solid goaltending recently, they still have given up at least three goals in five straight games, which is plenty enough for Carolina to win this game. The Hurricanes have allowed nine total goals over their last six games, and Anaheim was the first to score more than two in a game during that streak. With Vegas struggling to score goals, it looks like it will be difficult for them to generate enough offensive production to beat this outstanding Hurricanes goaltending duo. While dominating at home of late, they have been inconsistent offensively, scoring four or more goals in four of the last eight home contests, but have been held to two or fewer in the other four. It has been hit or miss with this team, and that is not a good pattern against a very good Carolina club. Our team pick is the Carolina Hurricanes. These teams have both been fantastic defensively and have given up the two fewest expected goal totals in the NHL. That lines up for the defensive showcase tonight. Both of these teams have trended under this season with the under in Vegas games going 33-23-4 and the under in Canes games going 32-25-1. The Golden Knights have allowed the 10th fewest goals in the NHL, giving up the second fewest expected goals and the second fewest high danger shots. Carolina's allowed the second fewest goals in the league, and they've given up the fewest expected goals and the fewest high danger shots in the NHL. Hammer the under in this game and expect an incredible defensive battle.